In this video, I'm going to be installing the brake kit from Willwood, uh, the disc brake kit on my Ford 9 inch rear. I uh, removed the axles and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. And this is for a 68 through 74 um, A body rear. So it'll fit an Oldsmobile, Buick, Le Mans, GTO, Chevelle. So if you ever want to do this conversion, this video is the one for you. Um, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, open up everything from this brake kit. I started uh, taking everything out. So this is all already assembled. So the brakes are already assembled on this kit. So all you have to do... Uh, when you do this is remove the axles if you're doing this on an older car that already has a 40 inch rear you would have to get a puller to remove the axle from the rear to install these brakes so i'm going to show you how it goes together i can't show you how it comes apart because this is a brand new rear so sorry about that if you have any questions leave a comment I'm going to assemble everything. Uh, I just made sure everything was right before I went ahead and, and did this. They are labeled, if I'm not mistaken. I have to show you. Give me a second. Okay. Just wanted to show you. They are labeled. So this right here, if you look, it is the left-hand side. So that means that this is the driver's side so this one actually would go over here and let me put it over here and then this one here if you look right there it says it is the right hand side see that i'm going to put that on as well and i'm going to show you everything when i put put the camera up on the tripod i'll show you everything and how everything goes so, uh, other than that, I'll be right back. I'm ready to install the brake assembly on the sh axle shaft and install it in the rear here. Um, there's one thing that you have to make sure when you install this, that the brakes are facing out so the drum could go over them. Don't install it that way. Um, I did that once and then I had to take everything back apart because I mean I saw it right away um, I also mentioned that this is the left hand side which is if you're sitting in the car it would be the driver side is your left hand side in case you're wondering um, now when you slide this over all you do is just put it over the axle shaft and if it fits over your bearing okay this is for a Ford three and a half inch offset in case you're wondering I don't think I mentioned that before so uh, when you're ready to install it so you just put that in and you slide it in the the rear over here and uh, make sure you don't damage that seal that's in there so oh I did it again see that <laughs> I installed it the wrong way right okay so that being said I'm going to slide it over here, put it in, um, and this is going to take a little finesse to get it over your um, splines so they line up. So once, once you get it to line up, it should fit in fairly easily, just like that. Okay, I'm going to bring you down so you can the brake assembly that's close. Um, let me move this a little bit out of the way for you. Right here is the bearing race. So that is going to fit into here. Um, and by doing so, when you tighten the bolt, it's going to press this plate and the bearing into the rear. That way it's uh, sealed properly and it's bolted properly so I'm gonna show you how to do that I uh, installed the brake assembly 
on the axle here. And this, this whole mechanism, the, this is the emergency brake over here. This should, this should be on top, okay? Um, and then once you put that in, I have the bolts just gently sitting there, the T-bolts. Let me show you the T-bolts. These are the T-bolts, okay? They're just sitting here. Um, and I have them sitting there. This is the retaining clip for the bearing. And if you look right here, there's a little lip, okay? That lip faces the bearing, okay? So when you install this, um, this is going to put pressure on that bearing and push everything in. So you got to install this in there just like that, okay? And uh, like I said, this is going to take some finesse to get it in there. I have all the bolts in place. It's hard to get my fingers in there to tighten it up. Um, so what you do is there's a hole in the rear axle that you just slide through and then you could just tighten the, uh, the nut from the hole. Now uh, I am not going to I am not going to uh, tighten everything hundred percent because I want to put the other axle in on the other side first. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm installing um, this axle now, which is the passenger side axle. So let me just slide this in there. tap it with my rubber mallet so now I'm going to use the other bearing retaining clip again the the raised side should be facing the bearing okay so I'm going to put this on and uh, I put the, uh, the bearing plate in here that holds the bearing in place. And now the only thing I have to do is put these T-bolts in so it holds it. This is, again, a Ford 9-inch rear with a 3.5-inch offset, in case you're wondering. Um, if you have a comment, leave it below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, this is a close-up of everything. Um, here's the hole where I am fitting my socket through to catch the nut. You see it back there? Okay, so then I am tightening the top bolt, which is right there. See that? It's right over there. And once I get everything once I get everything uh, hand tightened, I'm going to torque it down to 35 foot pounds. I'm going to show you then uh, how I'm going to install the brake caliper. And that, uh, that's my next step. So I want to show you that. It's coming together very, very nicely. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. This one is almost uh, done on this side. I'll be right back. I'm going to do is I'm going to put the the rotor um, on and if you look here I'm going to see if you look right here there's an arrow which is telling you the direction of the the rotor which way it's going to move so make sure that's in the proper direction before you put it in place so uh, in this case these rotors this hub here is bigger so I'm going to have to use this adapter rotor registration ring right here okay it comes in the kit when you order it it's part number 300-11337 okay and what you do is the the uh, cone shape actually is facing the rotor so you would put this on like that and then you would slide Make sure your studs are lined up properly. 
and then that goes on just like that. This is the uh, registration ring. You see how it's shiny? This is the aluminum ring that is tapered, so it, it works on the, the hub, so it faces the hub side. So this is what it looks like. These, all these slots are for different vehicles. And in case you were wondering, let me find the arrow. Right there is the arrow. Let's see if I could get a better shot of it. This is my caliper. I took the uh, pin out. This actually, this pin goes in here like this, uh, just like that. So once I install my brakes, I'll show you how to do that. And I'm gonna get that going. Okay, this is the Willwood brake kit right there. So, um, and these are the bolts, uh, assembly bolts here. This is the bolt kit. I'll bring you up close. There it is, in case you're looking for the number. I have the rotor in. Um, now I'm ready to assemble the brake caliper from Willwood. And it's a four piston in the back that I'm installing. This is how I'm going to do that. It's gonna fit over the brake rotor. And this kit comes with a bunch of shims to make sure you have the proper space between the brake caliper and the uh, rotor. So they, it comes with a whole bunch of these little shims here and I'm going to bring you down here and show you exactly how it goes together. Um, so you could use as many shims as you need to move it in and out. So this is going to be a trial and error kind of situation just to make sure that it's centered once I put my brakes on. So if I need to add an additional shim or remove an additional shim, I can. Um, so. The way, the way it goes together right now is you put this in place, okay, um, you put the bolt in, I didn't do any shims yet but I just want to show you um, what it looks like. So you put these in, it comes with a little washer here, okay, these are considered shims, the bigger ones, and a little washer, okay, and I'm going to show you that when I bring you down. So then you install the, the brakes. You slide them in just like that and you slide it in just like that and you take your large, these are called cotter pins, you take these and you line everything up just right and then what you do is you bend it so it doesn't come out. I'm not going to do that because I didn't put the shims in here that I need and I want to make sure everything is in a proper position before I do that. So once I have everything assembled, I am going to bring you down and show you everything complete. But I'm going to bring you down right now and show you my shims and my washers and the bolts. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, these are the shims. These are considered the shims right here. Okay, they're larger and they're super thin. And then this is the washer that goes before the bolt. Um, this is, this is the actual caliper holes here. This is the four piston. I don't know how good it shows you up on my uh, camera holder, but I just wanted to make sure that you understand exactly what I'm using. So here are the brake pads with the little holes. So I am have everything in place. I wanted to show you a close up. Here is that little washer I was telling you about. Okay, I have another one here I wanna show you. Um, it's this washer right here that goes on right there and then this is a shim on this side that goes over here and that way you can adjust your caliper to fit your rotor. So if you look straight down the spacing should be equal on the left and on the right and I want to show you this is the, uh, the brakes so this brake just fits in there like this, just slides in, okay? And again, I just have it loose right now because I'll make sure the spacing is in the proper location, okay? Then you slide your other brake pad in, then you take your cotter pin, and you just slide it in there, oh, just like that. So once that's in 
the proper location, okay, you take your cotter pin pliers and you bend this up so it won't it won't slide out. Okay, so now that's in properly, but before I do that, I want to tighten these bolts up and make sure that this is centered correctly before I do my final adjustments. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And I'm going to do the other side. Once I get this complete, I'm going to do the, the uh, passenger side right here. And I will uh, show you what that looks like. I'll be back. Okay, I just installed the passenger side. And it looks just as good as the driver's side. So if you look down there straight down right here it's equal distance from the right side and the left side so everything is in the proper position I only used one shim other than that it's ready to be installed in the back of the frame so that's gonna be uh, a next video um, once I'm ready to do that but for now, I just uh, wanted to show you how everything here looks. I bent the cotter pin on this side as well, just to make sure, just a little bit so it doesn't slide out. But everything's in place where it needs to be. And um, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to have some really cool videos coming out.